It's day one of GalaxyCon Columbus 2023. I'm going to take you guys with me. Let's go. What was your first exposure? I, I honestly don't remember my first exposure to Superman. I suspect it may have been the George Reeves series. I'm, I'm just not sure. I do know that the first comic book I ever bought was a Superman comic. I just remember always thinking, if you could make anything you could think of with this ring, you know, I, I didn't get the whole vacuum sweeper boxing glove thing. I'm just thinking of right. what I would make if I had that. And I, I kept sketchbooks of, yeah, I would make this kind of stuff. I just kind of filed away, never thinking that I would ever get a I chance to that. use that stuff. Yeah, I still have all that stuff. That, sounds, just, that sounds like bullshit. You're making that up. I, you, you know, I'm not <laughs> here. I can, I can run. Like, like one of my favorite ones also is Archie meets Sharknado. Was uh, I did not get a chance to read that, but I saw it. I'm like, that is wild. That was fun. That was fun because it was just basically the Archie gang ripped, gang ripped apart by sharks. <laughs> That's great. And it was fun and it was silly. All right, first off, I apologize for the lighting, but I was dead tired last night, so I didn't do another uh, little clip before I got home or before I went to bed. But it's day two of GalaxyCon 2023 in Columbus, Ohio. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. I got two more panels to host today. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can get into. When Wonder Woman doesn't sell well, or I shouldn't even say it doesn't sell well, it doesn't sell what folks want it to, um, 
it's like, well, something's wrong with this character. We need to change everything about her. So folks wonder why she moves to different cities all the time, or she has different supporting casts all the time. It's because of this bullshit, to be quite honest. You know, there's something is fundamentally wrong. We need to change everything about her. Versus when Captain America sells that exact same number, no one says, well, something's fundamentally wrong with Captain America. Right. We just have to, you know, do a new number one or do whatever else. So there's a lot of heightened pressure, but it's actually, I mean, that this is not like a fun, she's great story. She is great, but like she faces the same bullshit that real women face. And So ludicrous. Eventually, what he did, he started to push this building like this. Another building, another. He panned back, and he's pushing the whole of New York City into it. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting the world like this, like this, like this, like this, and he's got it in his hand like that, and he swallows it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I grew up, put, put the, and that was the end. And then you saw the earth with a big bite out there, like an apple. I was just waiting for an hour, and that was the end of it. And there was yeah. <laughs> and it was too late, so always notoriously late on, to, on deadlines, you know. So, <laughs> I mean, um, but uh, Alan Grant had to write script, had to write over top of that. Right. When he got to my five pages, he goes, at this point, I have nothing to do with this story. And then it's clearly on the road, and I can't know. Lobo cannot crush it, and he goes into a dike. Well, they can, he can, because he fucking gets a druid. It's a comic. I saw fun with it, you know, so anyway, right. it, it was all in the disaster, and then we'll be easy again. <laughs> We're here at day three at GalaxyCon Columbus 2023, and yeah, let's see what kind of uh, trouble I can get into today. Beast Boy Loves Raven, I did a series pitch for them, and I wrote bonus book Beast Boy Loves Raven, like, almost as a joke, so I'm like, they never let me do that. Right. But I love them together. And, um, and I didn't have an outline for that one. I just put, like, you know, Beast Boy Loves Raven, and, um, I remember when Raven did really well, and then when they started Beast Boy and they got the pre-orders for Beast Boy, they said to us, like, well, what do you want to do for the next one? And I was thinking, okay, like, next we're going to do Robin or whatever, you know, and they were like, and the editor said, what about Beast Boy Loves Raven? And I thought she was joking, because that's like my dream book. You right. know? And Gabriel's and, and that's the, you know, all the fans want yeah, And I knew as an artist, so like, he anyway. loves drawing them together. So I was like, it was just like both of us a dream. So I was like, and they're like, we just need you to send the outline, because we don't, we realize it's not in the pitch. And I'm like, oh, no problem. I'm traveling. I'll send it to you on Monday. So I was like, on Saturday and Sunday, I was like, I'm better make up outline really fast because we're doing this book mm -hmm. right. and it was really fun Why do you think that is that Turtles fans are so loyal like that, as opposed to like a Superman fan who will, you know, be angry with every other artist and every other writer that works on the book? I, oh. I think it's just the franchise resiliency, just the fact that it seemed like it's it's got so much going for it. You know, yeah. so many like yeah. you know you, you talked about how uh, the resilience of Turtles. Mm -hmm. Like um, I've always heard people say that like Batman is a character that you can plug into like any story. That like you could do like a, a crime story or a mystery or right. like straight up superhero action or some sci-fi, and like turtles fit right into that as well. Like, um, so I think you can. They're just so uh, adaptable, I guess. Yeah, I think there's also a feeling about turtles that maybe you don't get with something big at Marvel or DC, where the there's the the turtles 
uh, a fan of the turtles will feel more like the turtles are theirs. It still feels more like, like an indie book. Like almost. it's a little more indie. It's a little mm-hmm. more you know. It's a little you know. Even though it's not, it's huge. It's huge. Right. But I feel like the feeling that you get um, is of this more of this tighter knit kind of community. That it's a little less like people who are fans of it's a, it. You know, it, it has the feeling of it not being as worldwide, even though it is. Even though it is right. huge, but it still feels a little more indie underground. Thank you.